Hello students, welcome to my channel Khan's Commerce Tutorial. Hashem, I am Hashem Ali Khan. So already we have discussed some three topics in this financial accounting tool. We have completed joint venture. We have completed accounts of non-profit organization. Now we are going to start the new topic that is bills of exchange. Bills of exchange. Hope my viewers already have watched the chapters joint venture and non-profit organizations. Got a good command on these two chapters. Now we are going to start the new topic bills of exchange. So keep watching. Uh, watch the video till the end to get the maximum benefit. And first of all, before starting the problem, I always recommend you to watch the theory video first to get the conceptual clarity. If you are clear on the concepts, if you are thorough on the entries, accounting treatment, then definitely you can find the problems very easy. Otherwise, every problem will be a difficult one. So please follow my instructions and watch the video till the end. Now. First of all, what is bills of exchange? What is the meaning and definition of the term bills of exchange? When goods are sold on credit, the buyer will promise to pay the amount due on a certain date. And this promise will be uh, put in writing in a document. That document may, change, may take the form of bills of exchange or promissory note. So according to Negotiable Instruments Act, a bill of exchange is an instrument in writing containing an unconditional order signed by the maker directing a certain person to pay a certain sum of money only to or to the order of a certain person or to the bearer of the instrument. This definition given by in Negotiable Instruments Act will contain all the features of bills of exchange. So normally bills of exchange kis tarah hota hai? Suppose there is a uh, buying, uh, there is a transaction of buy and sell between A and B. A sold the goods to B. B will may say the uh, I will pay the amount after three months. There is a credit transaction, credit sale by A to B. A is the seller, B is the buyer. Ab B ye kahega ki main three months ke baad payment karunga. To A cannot rely on the word of mouth. We need some something in writing. Likh kar diye. तो एविडेंस रहता है तो दोनों के बीच में एक एग्रीमेंट ये होता है चलो बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज बनाएंगे तो व्हाट इज बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज ए डॉक्यूमेंट है एक रिटर्न डॉक्यूमेंट है वो डॉक्यूमेंट में ए ड्रॉ कर रहा ए लिख रहा है कि आफ्टर 3 मंथ यू पे द अमाउंट टू सो एंड सो पार्टी ये डॉक्यूमेंट ए लिख रहा सेलर लिख रहा सेलर लिख के बायर को दे रहा है बायर वो डॉक्यूमेंट के ऊपर एक्सेप्टेड लिख कर अपना सिग्नेचर स्टैंप मार के वापस ए को दे रहा है अब ए के पास एक डॉक्यूमेंट्री प्रूफ है तीन महीने तक रखेंगे तीन महीने एक्सपायर होने के बाद ड्यू डेट के ऊपर ए विल प्रेजेंट दैट बिल टू बी एंड बी विल टेक द बिल एंड पे द अमाउंट दिस इज कॉल्ड बिल्स ऑफ एक्सचेंज सो सिंपल वर्ड्स इन सिंपल वर्ड्स आई हैव एक्सप्लेन्ड द सेलर विल ड्रॉ ए बिल ऑन बायर द बायर विल एक्सेप्ट द बिल एंड रिटर्न द बिल बैक टू ए now a will keep the bill till maturity on maturity a will present the bill to b b will make the payment that's it ye bills of exchange hai meaning ho gaya hai ab iske liye specifically definition has been given india mein law hai indian negotiable instruments act according to section 5 it has given the complete definition aur ye definition bahut hi important you have to by heart this uh, definition kyunki ye definition mein all the ingredients features are included so negotiable instrument is a doc document in writing containing an unconditional order signed by the maker directing a certain person to pay a certain sum of money only to or to the order of a certain person or to the bearer of the instrument so this is the definition now we'll discuss about the features the first feature of this bill of exchange is it is an instrument instrument means it's a document it's a written document. That's why it is called an instrument. It's an instrument in writing containing an unconditional order. Now your document my second feature here is my order. There must be an order. Third one, the order must be unconditional. The order must be unconditional. It should be directed to pay a certain sum of money. 
ये डॉक्यूमेंट में ये लिखा हुआ रहना है कि ये अमाउंट ये अमाउंट जो लिखा हुआ है दैट विल बी पेड टू अ सर्टेन पर्सन और टू द बेर ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट और टू द ऑर्डर ऑफ द पर्सन वो नेम ऑफ द पर्सन और टू द ऑर्डर ऑफ द पर्सन और टू द बेर ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट इट मस्ट बी डेटेड द बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज मस्ट बी डेटेड द डेट वेन द अमाउंट इज ड्यू टू बी पेड दैट शुड ऑल्सो बी स्पेसिफाइड इट मस्ट बी साइंड बाय द एक्सेप्टर it must be signed by the acceptor and uh, uh, the amount must be certain the amount due on this instrument must be certain so these are the some of the features of bill of exchange again i repeat it must be in writing second it must contain an order the order must be unconditional it must be properly dated it must contain it must contain a direction that the amount should be paid to a particular person the amount is payable to the person named in the instrument or to his order or to the bearer of the instrument then it must contain a certain amount so these are some of the features of bills of exchange now who what are, who are the parties to a bill of exchange <coughs> normally there are three parties to a bill of exchange drawer drawee and pay parties to a bill of exchange drawer drawee and pay drawer is the person who draws the bill in other words the seller or the creditor the creditor will draw the bill on the debtor or the seller will draw the bill on the buyer so drawer is the person who draws the bill who makes the bill so normally he is the creditor or seller drawee drawee is the person on whom the bill is drawn in other words drawee is the buyer drawee is the buyer or debtor so after uh, after accepting the bill the drawee will become the acceptor pay pay is the person to whom the amount is to be paid which is specified in the bill bill ke andar jo likha hua hai kisko pay karna hai वो आदमी को वो पर्सन को कहेंगे पे तो इन मेनी केसेस पे एंड ड्रॉयर विल बी वन एन द सेम ड्रॉयर एंड पे मे बी वन एन द सेम सो दीज आर द थ्री पार्टीज ड्रॉयर ड्रॉय पे सिंपल वर्ड्स ड्रॉयर इज द पर्सन हु ड्रॉज द बिल एंड ड्रॉय इज द पर्सन हु एक्सेप्ट बिल बिल पे इज द पर्सन टू होम द अमाउंट ऑफ द बिल हैज टू बी पे नाउ विल कम टू द नेक्स्ट मीनिंग ऑफ प्रोमिसरी नोट सी two documents will be used in case of buying and selling where the amount is due one is bill of exchange another is promissory note some differences are there between this bills of exchange and promissory note but the ultimate purpose is same payment karne ke liye document chahiye document ya to bills of exchange bana sakte hain ya promissory note bana sakte hain dono mein slightly technical difference hai but the accounting treatment will be same for bill of exchange and promissory note what's a promissory note according to nego indian negotiable instruments act a promissory note is a, a document in writing is an instrument in writing containing an unconditional undertaking signed by the maker to pay a certain sum of money only to or to the order of a certain person or to the bearer of the instrument so promissory note it is uh, payable only to the order signed by the maker the pay to pay a certain sum of money only to or to the order of a certain person or to the bearer of the instrument so what is the difference you can see between the definition of bill of exchange and promissory note in bill of exchange it contains an order to pay whereas in promissory note it is an undertaking it's a promise right so this is the definition of meaning of promissory note now features of promissory note similar features are there slight difference the first feature is a promissory note is a written document second it must contain an undertaking it's an undertaking or promise promise to pay third one the promise should be unconditional there should not be any condition attached to with the promise next one is it must be properly dated it must be signed by the maker it must be promised to pay money only it must be uh, it must contain the date on which the amount will be paid so these are some of the features of promissory note 
the next is differences between bill of exchange and promissory note actually many similarities are there few differences are also there between bills of exchange and promissory note first of all any of them will be used in a transaction of making the of making the payment right so when goods are sold and bought on credit we can use either bill of exchange or we can use promissory note accounting treatment are same but what are the main differences first difference in a bill of exchange there is an unconditional order remember listen carefully in case of bill of exchange there is unconditional order to make the payment whereas in case of promissory note it contains an unconditional undertaking or promise promissory note mein promise hai bills of exchange mein order hai yani seller is ordering to buy it whereas in case of promissory note the maker of promissory note will promise himself promise that i will pay so and so amount to the other party second difference is the bill of exchange will be prepared will be prepared by the seller and send it to the buyer whereas in case of promissory note it is prepared by the buyer only to bill of exchange ko banane wala seller hai aur promissory note ko banane wala buyer hai next difference is in bill of exchange the bill of exchange must be accepted by the drawee drawer bill of exchange banaya banakar drawee ko present kara drawee must accept and sign it then only it will become a legal document jab tak ke drawee usko accept nahi karega wo bill of exchange bekar hai to acceptance is compulsory in case of bill of exchange whereas in case of promissory note no acceptance is required it is prepared by uh, buyer only so no acceptance is required next to difference the bill of exchange in a bill of exchange it must be stamped uh, sorry a bill of exchange does not require stamping whereas promissory note must be stamped must be stamped so these are the differences between uh, bill of exchange and promissory note in examination normally in examination they will ask you what are the differences between bill of exchange and promissory note what is bill of exchange what are the features what is promissory note what are the features these are some some of the theory questions which may be asked in examination so you can write whatever just now i have explained you regarding these two documents now accounting treatment see bill of uh, bills receivable and bills payable are not two separate documents same document drawer will call it as bills receivable drawee will call it as bills payable suppose i am the drawer you are the drawee mai aapke upar bill draw kara aap bill ko accept kar liye accept karke fir drawer mere paas wapas bhija diye to mai wo bill ko kahunga bills receivable aur aap wo bill ko kahenge bills payable to the same bill from drawer point of view it is a bills receivable from drawee point of view it is a bills payable now what are the general entries what are the accounting treatment in this chapter we are required to pass the general entries or accounting treatment in the books of the drawer and drawee right so first of all accounting treatment what are the general entries we are going to study now first of all when bill is drawn and accepted suppose i am the drawer you are the drawee i am a you are b i have drawn a bill on you you have accepted the bill and returned the bill back to me aap wo bill ko accept kar liye aur wo bill mere paas wapas bhija diye to mere main drawer hu aap drawee hai to mere books mein kya entry aayengi bills receivable account debtor to acceptor account your name you are the acceptor aap drawee the jaise hi main bill diya aap uske upar accepted likh diye to aapka naam ab acceptor ho gaya ड्रॉई जाकर एक्सेप्टर हो गए सो बिल्स रिसीवेबल अकाउंट डेटा आर टू एक्सेप्ट आर सेकंड व्हाइल सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम वी विल राइट द नेम ऑफ द पर्सन यहां पर अंडरस्टैंड करने के लिए एक्सेप्ट आर लिख रहे हैं जब प्रॉब्लम करेंगे तो एक्सेप्ट आर का नाम रहेगा वहां पर मिस्टर एक्स मिस्टर वाई मिस्टर जेड जो भी है तो बिल्स रिसीवेबल अकाउंट डेटा टू मिस्टर बी सपोज यू आर बी आई एम ए तो आई विल पास द एंट्री बिल्स रिसीवेबल अकाउंट डेटा टू बीज अकाउंट Acceptor. This is the entry in the books of the drawer. Now, what is the entry in the books of drawee? 
अब आपके बुक्स में क्या एंट्री पास करिए बी के बुक्स में क्या एंट्री पास करिए द एंट्री विल बी एज अकाउंट डेट आर टू बिल्स पेबल ए हु इज ए ड्रॉयर तो आपके बुक्स में यू आर द ड्रॉइ तो ड्रॉइ के बुक्स में ड्रॉयर अकाउंट डेट आर टू बिल्स पेबल कॉन्सेंट्रेट विथ फुल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन यू लिज इन दिस लेक्चर बिकॉज ऑल द प्रॉब्लम आर डिपेंड ऑन दिस जनरेटिव इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड द जनरेटिव इजिली यू कैन सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम when the bill is accepted entry in the books of the drawer bills receivable account debtor to accept our account in the books of drawee drawers account debtor to bills payable to bills receivable ko in debit kar raha drawer debit kar raha aur bills payable ko credit kar raha drawee right now second when the bill is honored on the due date Honored on the due date. Due date is the date on which the bill will become become mature. And according to Indian Negotiable Instruments Act, three days of grace will be added to the due date. To the due date. जो भी due date रहेगा उसमें three day three grace days मिला देंगे उसको तो maturity date आ जाएगी. So when the bill is honored on the due date, due date के ऊपर bill honor हो गया. Honor होने का मतलब the drawee the acceptor has made the payment. the acceptor has made the payment on due date that is called honoring the bill do cases hote honoring the bill dishonoring the bill abhi next discuss karenge dishonor ka matlab abhi honor ka matlab due date ke upar drawee ya acceptor payment kar diya suppose 3 months ka bill hai my drawer hu aap drawee jaise 3 mahine expire ho jayenge main bill aapke paas launga aap bill le leke wo payment kar denge to isko honoring kehte hain So when the bill is honored, what is the entry? General entry in the books of drawer. I am the drawer. What entry I will pass? Bank account data to bills receivable, or we can say cash account data to bills receivable. Cash आया तो cash को debit करेंगे. अगर bank में पैसा आ रहा तो bank को debit करेंगे. Cash or bank account data to bills receivable. जब bill आया था तो bills receivable को debit करें थे. When I receive the bill, I have debited bills receivable. When the bill is going away. I am giving away the bill to the drawer on maturity. Then bills receivable should be credited. Paise aa rahe aur bills receivable ja. So entry cash or bank account data to bills receivable. General entry in the books of the acceptor. Now, in your books, what entry? You have to pay money. Money is going. So credit cash to credit. Bank will credit. Credit who will debit? Bills payable. Bills payable. So here, you have to credit the bills payable. When you accept the bill, you have credited bills payable account. When you honor the bill, the bills payable will be debited. Bills payable account will get closed. यहाँ पर credit करे थे accept करने के time पे और payment करने के time पे bills payable को debit कर दिए. Bills payable account it out to bank, being the bill honored on due date. That's it. So two entries we have seen. What are the entries when the bill is accepted? What are the entries when the bill is honored on the due date? When the drawer endorses the bill to his creditor. Now, see, I am the drawer. When I draw the bill on you, you have accepted the bill and returned the bill to me. Now, bill मेरे पास है. अब तीन महीने तक bill मेरे पास ही रहेगी. तीन महीने के बाद due date के time पे I will present the bill to the drawee. अब वो तीन महीने तक मैं कुछ भी कर सकता हूँ bill के बारे में. I can keep the bill with myself, or I can endorse the bill to my creditor, to my creditor, or I can discount the bill with my banker, or I can send the bill to bank for collection. चार चीजें हो सकती. पहला केस कि मैं बिल को अपने पास ही रखूं तीन महीने तक. तीन महीने के बाद मैं ड्राई के पास जाके उसको पेमेंट लाऊं. दूसरा केस मैं एंडोर्स कर सकता हूं. एंडोर्स का मतलब ट्रांसफर. मैं किसी और को पैसे देना हूं तो बिल दे दिया एग्जाम्पल सी के पास से माल खरीदा हूं आई हैव आई है गुड्स फ्रॉम मिस्टर सी एक्चुअली आई एम मिस्टर ए यू आर बी यू हैव एक्सेप्टेड यू आर द ड्रॉइ अब ड्रॉइ एक्सेप्ट करके मेरे को दे दिया अब तीन महीने तक मैं रखना है बिल तीन महीने के बाद प्रेजेंट करना है सपोज अभी एक ही महीना हुआ है सी के पास से कुछ माल खरीदा अब मेरे को पेमेंट सी को करना है मगर मेरे पास कैश नहीं है मैं सी को बिल दे दिया जो बिल एक्सेप्ट आप किए थे बी एक्सेप्ट किए थे वो बिल मैं सी को दे दिया 
अब बिल सी के पास है अब तीन महीने के बाद सी विल प्रेजेंट द बिल टू बी अब आप बी तो सी आके आप आपके पास से पैसे लेके जाएगा आप ये नहीं देखना कि किसको दे रहे आप ये देखना जिसके पास भी बिल है उसको पे करना तो एंडोर सी लाकर बिल आपको प्रेजेंट करेंगे आप एंडोर सी को पे कर दिस इज कॉल्ड एंडोर्समेंट और ट्रांसफर तो वेन द ड्रॉयर एंडोर्स द बिल टू हिस्स क्रेडिटर बुक्स ऑफ ड्रॉयर ड्रॉयर के बुक्स में एंडोर्सीज अकाउंट डेटा टू बिल्स रिसीवेबल जब बिल आया था तो बिल को डेबिट करे थे बिल्स रिसीवेबल अकाउंट डेटा टू एक्सेप्ट आर अकाउंट दिस एंट्री आई हैव पास वेन आई रिसीव द बिल फ्रॉम यू अब ये बिल चले जा रही है तो बिल्स रिसीवेबल को क्रेडिट करूंगा डेबिट वॉट कम्स इन क्रेडिट वॉट गोज आउट जब बिल आया तो डेबिट किया अब बिल जा रहा तो क्रेडिट करूंगा किसको जा रहा बिल टू हुम आई एम मेकिंग द पेमेंट एंडोर सी जो आदमी को मैं ट्रांसफर कर रहा हूं उसको एंडोर सी कहते हैं ट्रांसफरी तो अब यहां पर ट्रांसफरी कौन है सी ए तो एंट्री सीज अकाउंट डेटा आर टू बिल्स रिसीवेबल एंडोर सी अकाउंट डेटा टू बिल्स दिस इज द एंट्री वेन द बिल इज एंडोर्स एंडोर्स टू एंडोर सी वेन द ड्रॉयर ऑफ द बिल गेट्स ए डिस्काउंटेड विद बैंक अब देखिए सेकेंड और एक एक केस है ये बिल को मैं डिस्काउंट भी करा ले सकता हूं बैंक से एग्जाम्पल आई हैव ड्रॉन ए बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज ऑन फर्स्ट जनवरी एंड इट इज ड्यू दॉर पेमेंट आफ्टर थ्री मंथ थ्री मंथ इज द मेच्योरिटी डेट तो मेच्योरिटी डेट विल बी फोर्थ अप्रैल फोर्थ अप्रैल को मेच्योरिटी होगी राइट लेकिन अब फोर्थ अप्रैल तक मैं वेट नहीं कर सकता आई नीड इमीडिएट कैश